Hi there, I'm Black Bright, and I'm talking about the news that's going around about blackface and Shelby Elliott Keenan um, and Megan Kelly were both impacted by their lack of knowledge about the history of blackface. And I was wondering to myself, how many, especially since those two girls are quite young, how many white people would really know about that background? How many black, how many white people would feel as though they would need to know the history of black people? Because, you know, they're going around their daily business. How would they come into contact with something like that? And the impact of not knowing has cost Shelby her job. So um, there are two things here, though. Um, the fact that she had that black face on for Halloween. Now, what is the message she was trying to portray? There's that aspect. She did it for Halloween. And is she trying to say that um, Beyonce and Jay-Z are frightening to look at? Or is she trying to um, associate Beyonce with the Illuminati or, you know, devil worship? In that case, she should have wore horns so people could have made the association and that would have been in sync with Halloween. But to just turn up with a black face and her husband turn up with a black face with, you know, mimicking the black and white minstrels, that that could be deemed offensive because it's not associated with Halloween. Unless, like I said, what she's saying is that she feels black people are quite frightening. And that's where the insult has occurred. Now, a little bit about um, the blackface history. Um, it started in the 1400s in America and what used to happen is that the plantation owners used to wear black faces and mimic black people or the or the slaves because they were afraid to have the black people entertain them in case they revolted or in case they lost control or in case they ran away while they was loose on the stage. So what they would do is they were fascinated by black people, the way they sang, the way they spoke, the way they behaved. So they would mimic them and put on these black face and exaggerated features to mimic and make a mockery of black people. They even had um, a point where they were appointing black people to wear the black mask. And you might ask yourself, why would they ask black people to wear um, the soot and emulate themselves? Well, the fact of the matter is, is that when they saw black people caricatured as themselves, they found them less threatening and they saw them as more funny and they felt as though they could watch them and be entertained by them without the threat that they were really um, black people, so to speak. So we have that history in um, the up to 1978 in the UK, we had the black and white minstrel show and I remember seeing it. I remember being quite alarmed by it because I thought to myself, are they saying that's what I look like? They also had it in, you know, are you being served in the UK? But all that stopped after 1978. And I think it's the exaggerated caricature and the stereotype of black people, why it is so offensive and why it has been stopped. The same like gollywogs, they were on the jam bottles, weren't they? And that was another exaggeration of black people. So, um, so there is two things here. Um, should Shelby have done her homework before she donned uh, herself as Beyonce? What was going in her mind when she turned up as a Halloween person, as a black person for Halloween? What message is she sending by doing that? And so there is that. And of course, there's the, the fact that even if you didn't know about blackface, why would you do that? that could be very offensive and then she's got the gall to put it on Facebook. So that shows her naivety and her lack of awareness of what could be construed as um, insensitive and insulting to black people. And but you know you, we had um, a lot of white people in the past um, used to um, play the role of Othello 
And so because the features weren't exaggerated, that was passable. But I think it's the exaggerated features that people find insulting or black people find insulting. And personally, I don't like the look of them. I think they look frightening. And to be honest, if that's their caricature of black people, no wonder white people are so bloody frightened. If that's what they if that's the image that has been, you know, permeated in white people's mind, that that's what black people look like. And that is that indoctrination over the years that have affected their view of black people. And they're only safe. They only feel safe when black people are in servitude. But, yeah, um, it's it's an unfortunate incident. Um, it it's probably will raise awareness. It probably will um, for some people, especially um, those who want to uh, emulate black people, to look into their history a bit more. I mean, to be honest, if I was going to portray a white person, I would definitely look up the history and see if there was anything in what I was going to do that would offend white people. I mean, you know, I do try to be fair and unbiased in my videos. Um, I do try to look at both sides of the coin. Um, so, and I do try to do my research. I can't research everything. I mean, history is so far back. But I do try not to do or say anything that could be construed as offensive. But we're all infallible. And hopefully we all learn by our mistakes and it's not a too much of a painful mistake to learn. And that's all for now. Bye bye.